Here's an idea. Actually, here's two shorter ideas. We're taking this week off to relax and read comic books and check Twitter on the beach while it's still even remotely nice outside, but we didn't want to leave you with nothing to talk about. So here are two short ideas for you to think on and discuss until we're back next week with a full video and responses to the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge comments. Okay, so idea number one, an oldie but a goodie. In order for something to be a work of art, it has to be practically useless. Which is to say, really, that the art-like aesthetic experience of an object is mutually exclusive to any purpose it might serve. Edward Bullock says that aesthetic experience occurs with what he calls distance. That distance might be represented by the number of feet you have to stand away from something at a gallery or a museum, but really there's a lot more to it. Bullock talks about how works of art can become, quote, out of gear with our practical, actual selves. He calls this psychical distance. And it doesn't mean that the aesthetically experienced object becomes impersonal somehow. On the contrary, it can become exceptionally personal. But they do become removed from a relationship that is defined by usefulness. Now, I don't know that I'm fully on board with this idea, and lots of very smart people are not, but it always makes me think of kitchen tools. You said it, and you forget it. Like, my citrus squeezer. Sometimes when I look at it, its objectness just sort of retreats into itself, and it becomes this insane, crazy shape, and not the kitchen tool that I use when I'm making cocktails. For a moment, it becomes another object entirely, even though it is, physically, exactly the same object. It stops being a tool and becomes an aesthetic thing. Maybe this is the distance that Bullock is talking about. What do you guys think? In order to have an aesthetic experience, does there need to be some kind of distance? And while you're thinking about distance, here's idea number two. The Daily Show is a better news program than the actual evening news. I say this because The Daily Show constantly does something that no other news broadcast does, at least not explicitly or nearly as purposefully or frequently. The Daily Show questions its own authority. The Daily Show delivers news as entertainment in a frame that openly mocks the hyper-constructed messages of other news networks while mocking its own purposefully lo-fi, hyper-constructed messages. The Daily Show is a reminder, one that is, I think, more and more important every day, that the evening news is not a service, but a product. You could argue that the acknowledgement and celebration of the format's inherent shortcomings does allow The Daily Show to double down on the delivery of the entertainment news from a belief-driven standpoint, effectively becoming an even more egregious abuse of authority than the things they lampoon. But I still think, regardless of their political leanings, that the critique communicated about the news itself is a powerful and important one. What do you guys think? Does The Daily Show deliver an important and clear lesson about how news is produced? Let us know what you think about these ideas in the comments. We'll be back next week, fresh-faced and hopefully not sunburned, with a full episode and responses to last week's comments. In the meantime, I've also put links to some fun things to read and watch in the doobly-doo, and of course, you can say hi on Twitter, Facebook, the subreddit, and IRC. We miss you dearly, of course. Hope you are having a good beginning of September, and we'll see you soon. Oh, hey, are you still here? Well, while I have you for a second, I have a question. I've been thinking recently about maybe doing like, not a meetup, but maybe like office hours where I just hang out in a place and just sit there. Would you come and hang out with me? Maybe talk about movies and comic books? It would be in New York, because that's where I live. So that's restrictive in some sense, but it would otherwise be open. What do you think? Let me know.